Welcome to For the Love of Making Books. I've just got a new uh, video here so that I can put this up in my coffee shop. This is an art journal, art journal style junk journal. It is 23 centimeters by 16 or nine inches by six and three quarter inches. There are 15 sheets folded in half, giving 60 pages. So I don't think I have indicated the numbers correctly. I've always indicated the number of the full size and then when they're folded, the number of working pages, but sometimes I use maybe the wrong words. So this front cover is, even the cover is made of Amazon paper bag. So it has flexibility, put some um, sound there as you bend it. The painted rectangles of these three colors. Um, and then stencil this stencil over the top and outlined it with a white gel pen. The book plate is a book page with a painted rectangular block, a stamp over outlined again and some white dots just there to highlight the corners. The word art journal handwritten on it. Three hole pamphlet stitch. There's some little things I'll fix before I mount it up in the shop like this needs just an extra run of glue. <clears throat> so the inside and back covers is just really a solid colour pulled on the jelly plate, that green, to tie in with the front. And then this um, same stencil, but this time stenciled in white over um, the full size of it. So the pages are mainly blank sketchbook paper. Unfortunately, I don't have, I have started now to keep the details of the paper I've used, but at the time I made this, no, I didn't foresee that need, but it is quite, it's heavier than copy paper, so it's described as sketch book paper. So there are some supplies. Um, jelly plates on, on ordinary co good copy paper, not just standard copy paper. Um, rice paper, coffee dyed squared paper, just a plain coffee dyed paper and some little printed elements. So if you had a particularly busy season, you know, you could make a you maybe would want to make a, an art journal page and with a to-do list or they can be used elsewhere. So I'm just going to move fairly fast through this because it is an art journal. So there's no point in having all the pages filled. Here's another little uh, spot for supplies. So some jelly printed book pages. Um, Rectangles and squares of book pages with a uh, painted acrylic block and then a stamp on it. More of those coffee dyed jelly prints. So this is, these are little scraps from the front and back covers. And I've made parallel bars there for the jelly band, jelly band, belly band. Rice paper, more of the same. I just wanted to show you this here. It's one of my favourite ways of cleaning the gel plate because you get these amazing pages. This is an old vintage music book that this has come from. And you can see it's been torn. So, <clears throat> um, and just lift it off the jelly plate. So you're going to get lots of little crunchy details there. So these are just a few starter supplies. 
be a good gift for a young person, a young person just starting out with collage, even a, ch a child. If they like paper and glue stick, this is a, a perfect gift for them. Um, a gift, perfect gift to make for them. So those are rice paper, same sort of things there I've showed before. And even braired pages where you clean your brayer. You can use either side. Like that. I'll try and go through and put them in tastefully again. Another belly band, similar sort of ideas. If there's anything different, I'll stop and say. <clears throat> Same sort of thing there. I don't need to take that out. There's another one of those. Sometimes I jelly print on on poetry. Um, the children in my class sometimes enter competitions and they give you a lot of poetry pages. So. I use them for jelly printing, which makes interesting backgrounds. And there's an upper tuck, same sort of, you know, a bit of symmetry about the front cover and the back cover. Probably that's the same page, cut and do. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Okay, I just will show you these two. These are interesting jelly print pages because they're clean off pages but I've used matte medium to clean it off so you've got that extra texture from matte medium so gives you a little gives a little bit of variety another one of those okay so I hope you enjoyed looking at that it's always interesting to see what other people make at least I find it interesting and you might not say oh I want to go and make one of those but you can certain things stick in your mind and you, you, they pop up again and you don't know where you saw it but it uh, jogs your memory okay so I hope you enjoyed that and thank you. oh I forgot got a little closure here it's a little girl's hair to heal, hair band. They're very useful, good size for a nine by six sort of um, size. This is slightly bigger than nine by six because the cover is bigger. So at least the outside cover is bigger than nine by six. The inside would be nine by six. Very good size, um, bit girly, but it can be removed. Okay, thank you for watching.